Hey y'all, welcome back to another hunting ammo ballistics gel test. Today we're going to be shooting Hornady Outfitter 150 grain CX out of the 308 Winchester. And here's the box for that Hornady Outfitter 150 grain CX load for the 308 Winchester. I don't know about you, but I love these Hornady Outfitter boxes. It's a nice cool looking topo map. The lettering is raised. Really nice looking box, but it'll be interesting to see if the ammo itself performs. And here is your promo info on the back of the box. Feel free to stop, pause, and read all that if you would like flipping it around claimed velocity is 2800 feet per second we'll see how close we get to that out of the 22 inch barrel of my ruger american let's go ahead and pull it out and take a look at some of it nice nickel plated brass casing and you may or may not be able to see it in the camera but the case neck where the bullet goes into the case mouth here is actually sealed with something and then the primer if i can get it to focus there we go is actually sealed with something as well so they're trying to make this ammo sort of weather impervious which is a nice touch let's go shoot it and see how it does and my test rifle today is my Ruger American Standard, chambered in 308 Winchester, of course. It has a 22-inch barrel. I did have it threaded so I could use a Silencer Co. Hybrid 46 suppressor. And coming on back, I've got it topped off with a Vortex Diamondback 4 to 16 by 42 scope. Definitely helps see the gel blocks down there. And of course, I've got one of my handmade leather cartridge cuffs on the buttstock. Check out my website, masonleather.com. I would love to make you one. And I've also got one of my super thick Latigo leather slings on there. Those are also available on my website. And coming around to the other side, I've got to show you my whitetail deer design. And check out my brand new website, masonoutdoors.com or my Amazon storefront, where you can get all my favorite range gear and outdoor equipment. Everything you see, I personally use and can recommend with confidence. And every purchase helps me bring you more YouTube videos. Links are in the video description and the pinned comment. Now, back to the video. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And here are those velocities for the Hornady Outfitter 150 grain CX load out of the 308. We had a minimum of 2718, a max of 2744 for an average of 2732. And we'll get more in depth with velocity here in a second. And we are down here at the blocks after shooting that Hornady Outfitter 150 grain CX load out of the 308. We did manage to capture all three bullets. Let's go ahead and take a look at penetration first. We have two that are right here. They're kind of hard to see. There's one right there, one right there. We'll give that one 29 inches and this one 29 and a half inches. And then we had one come all the way back to the 40 inch mark. And the reason for that, it seems like the pedals broke off pretty bad on this one, allowing it to penetrate a bit deeper. And even these two had a little bit of fragmentation in the block here, I'll see if I can point some out. There's a chunk of copper, there's a chunk of copper, there's a chunk of copper. There is a lot of fragmentation for a solid copper bullet. Pretty disappointed about that. You don't typically see that. And coming on over to the first block, the wound cavities for all three rounds are much more explosive than is typical for solid copper hunting bullets. Typically you don't see such an explosive wound track. Usually it's a lot more controlled, a little bit more narrow. So I think what happened is these bullets went in at about the two and a half inch mark, they open up, they open up extremely rapidly and actually start to break up. There's some little bit of fragmentation here and they come on back and this wound track goes all the way to about really the 14 to 15 inch mark before it tapers off. This is not typical of any solid copper hunting bullets that I have tried so far across calibers. These definitely broke up a little bit. So we'll go ahead and dig these out and take a look. All right, y'all, we're back in the lab. We've got the bullets out of the blocks. Let's go ahead and take a look at them and talk about the metrics. First, we'll talk about weight retention. So for these 150 grand Hornady CX bullets out of the 308 Winchester, we saw 132, 
133 and 136 grains respectively for an average of 134 grains retained weight. That's 89% weight retention. And y'all, that's horrible. That's absolutely horrible for a solid copper bullet. Usually we see 98, 99, 100% weight retention, and that's across calibers. And that's for both CX bullets and Barnes triple shock bullets. But for these ones, we only had 89% weight retention. Go ahead and take a look at this picture. I mean, it's obvious what happened. The pedals that expanded and folded back busted off. They didn't hold together, they just snapped right off. So it is what it is and I'm gonna report exactly what I found. Horrible, horrible weight retention for a solid copper bullet as compared to every other one I've tested so far. Now on to expansion. 0.45 inches, 0.45 inches, and 0.49 inches for an average of 0.46 inches expanded diameter. That works out to 1.5X expansion, once again, way below par for solid copper bullets. Usually we see 1.7 to 1.9 X, so it's not a whole ton more, but this is noticeably smaller than that typical range that we see. And once again, it's because the pedals of these bullets just snapped off. Now we could speculate as to why this happened. Maybe the copper alloy was a little bit brittle, yada, 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 but I'm not gonna ever make any excuses for the ammo that I test. All I'm gonna do is present to you the objective facts and what happened. Reason being is this could have been the box of ammo that you picked up and that could have been the cartridge in your rifle when you pulled the trigger. So I don't have any sympathy for batch variation. It is what it is and that's what I'm gonna show you. And now on to velocity. Our high velocity was 2745, our low was 2718 for an average of 2732 versus the factory rated velocity of 2800 feet per second. So we came in 68 feet per second slow on average. That's about par for the course with factory ammo, not surprised, and it's the last thing that I'm worried about. And again, I'm using a 22 inch barrel Ruger American. 22 inch and shorter is by far the most popular barrel length in 308 Winchester. In fact, 18 and 20 inches is becoming more popular every day. So I'm not sure what barrel length the factory is testing these with, but it is not what is most common in actual use. And thus, highly questionable. And then real quick, we'll talk about impact velocity. So how fast was the bullet going when it actually impacted the target down there at 100 yards? To get this, I use a mathematical calculation. It does use factory provided inputs. So it is just an estimate, but it should be pretty darn close. So our impact velocity at 100 yards for these bullets should be about 2,541 feet per second. Just another thing to know. All right, now on to penetration. And these things went pretty darn deep. Not surprising considering the complete lack of expansion. Well, not complete lack, but big lack of expansion due to the pedals breaking off completely ridiculous. Penetration wise, we saw 29 inches, 29 and a half inches and 40 inches for an average of about 33 inches of penetration. So yeah, these things are gonna go deep, which I would expect from the CX bullet. And then real quick, kinetic energy wise, with a 150 grain bullet going on average 2,732 feet per second, we're looking at 2,486 foot-pounds of energy at the muzzle. And a quick announcement before we get to my final thoughts, if you'd like early access to my videos weeks and even months in advance of everyone else, become a channel member. The links will be in the video description and the pinned comment. Thanks y'all. All right y'all, it's time for my final thoughts on this Hornady Outfitter 150 grain CX load out of the 308 Winchester. This was a failure. It was a failure. There's no other way to put it. I wish it wasn't because when I've tested CX bullets in the past and other loads, they've done really well. I just did a video where I compared the 165 grain CX in both Hornady Outfitter and Hornady Superformance. Those did pretty good. This 150 grain version, for whatever reason, the bullet broke up, the pedals broke off, we had low weight retention for a CX bullet. Now sure, it's got more weight retention than your standard cup and core, but that's not a standard cup and core. This is a solid copper bullet. We should be seeing close to, if not 100% weight retention. The bullets failed. All three of them failed as compared to what they're supposed to do. Now we can speculate as to why. The alloy might be a little too brittle, but once again, I don't care. What if this was the ammo in my chamber when I'm pulling the trigger on that trophy buck or whatever, and it doesn't do what I expected it to do? Now, is it gonna still kill the deer? Probably so, especially if you put it in the right spot, but that's not what we're testing here. We're testing ammo performance against other ammo performance so we can make the best choice for ourselves, and compared to other ammo, other solid copper ammo, 
this particular load kick the bucket. So what would I use this ammo for? Well, based on the results of this test, I wouldn't use it for anything. I would pick up something else. For a solid copper bullet in this weight range and caliber, this is an, an abject failure. So let me know what you think in the comments. And check out my website, masonleather.com, and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade, and I would love to make you something. And there are hundreds of reviews on my website, so you can see what real hunters have to say about their mason leather gear. And also, tons of photos showing all the customizable options, including name, initial, and caliber stamping, as well as wild game designs and more. Everything is handmade by me right here in the USA. I would love to be a part of your hunt through my leather gear. And it helps support this channel so I can bring you more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests and lots of other cool stuff in the future. The link will be in the video description and the pinned comment, or you can just type masonleather.com into your web browser. And click one of these cards for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.